I want to show you the one keyboard shortcut that fixed probably the most annoying thing about Ableton Live 12 for me. So I use Ableton Live's arrangement view for playback, uh, and I use return tracks for audio routing. And there's times where I want to see return tracks, there's times where I don't want to see return tracks. Um, and Ableton Live 12 changed some things that drive me crazy when it comes to return tracks. Um, when I am in rehearsal, I want to see them. When I step on stage, I don't want to see them. So I kept finding myself going down in the bottom right-hand corner, clicking to show and hide tracks just like I did in previous versions. I would click the arrow, oh, return tracks, that's how I show and hide them. Nope, that's not it. There's this cool new little view where you can see basically like session view and arrangement view at the same time. It's nice. It doesn't do it for me. I don't, it doesn't work the way I like to see things. I like seeing things old school, right? Here's my return tracks and then there's arrangement view, everything all together. So what I ended up doing is I kept going up to view, uh, arrangement track controls showing and hiding return tracks. Now it takes far too long. I've wasted far too many seconds of my life so far. Um, and so I figured there's gotta be a better way. Always look for the shortcut. The shortcut to enable and disable those command option R really, really handy. Um, I, again, for example, in rehearsal, if I'm doing audio routing, if I'm programming songs, I'll show them. Before I step on stage, I will hide them because screen real estate is super important. Also another reason why you should use return tracks. Um, quick little shortcut for today. That's all I've got for you. If you want more tips like this using playback on stage, uh, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.